Welcome to the Stronium Milks channel. We got some really urgent important news concerning flying. The fear of flying is we're just going to take it to a whole new level right now. What they're finding out is I'm going to have to be careful what I say here because we're just simply not free to say what we're really going on. Basically, if you got the stinger in your arm, the current one for the 19 that they're finding a high amount of people are getting blood clots when they took that thing into their arm and what happens is if you go 10,000 20,000 feet up in the air your chances of getting a blood clot significantly go up so basically what the airlines has done the airlines over 85 percent of the pilots have took the Jabba Dabba do. So what does that mean? Well, just this last week, three airline pilots have had heart attacks. So basically, there were many people who went out. They got that thing into their arms so they could fly. And come to find out, now they're going to have to tell those very same people, whoops, Sorry, we recommend that you don't fly because you got the Jabba Dabba do and you have a good chance of getting blood clots when you go up there. So what does that mean? You have 85% of the pilots and about 60% of the population who cannot fly now. And you were telling those people to go and get it so they could and now they can't. And you're berating the people that had some common sense not to rush out and go ahead and take the experimental. And now you're going to depend on the people who had some brains not to get it right away. You have to depend on those people to become pilots now. And for them to be your future customers. You see what you've done? Now, our family members that got the Jabba Dabba do. They can't come see us. We're going to have to go see them. They can't take the risk of flying up in the sky after they got that job. Now what's going to happen is you're going to have these people who can't fly because of that accelerated risk of blood clots. They're going to have to drive. So you're going to have people driving 24 hours, 36 hours to try to go see their family members. How's that going to react on their body driving that long when they've already got the Jabba Dabba do? Their immune system's been compromised. I don't know if you watched, but there's this guy, his name's Cliff Hyde. He's been banned on a lot of networks, you know. Can't say what you really want. You can't. Well, he, he basically came up with the word vaccidents. Because what's happening now is they're finding a lot of people, they get behind the wheel after that shot, and they're crashing at higher rates. They're getting a stroke while they drive, causing a accident, a heart attack. If you have friends or family members you really want to see that got the job off, you're probably going to have to be the one to drive to them or fly to them. Well... I don't know how long it's going to take for people to wake up, the sheeple to wake up. Uh, perhaps never. The studies were done in the animals, and it's not good for people that got the mRNA. Not good at all. Some animals did better than others, but the, the mercats, I think most of them died after they were exposed to a new strain of the virus a year later. They had a cytokine storm. Now, the human body is much stronger than a mercat. we got really good immune systems. So, it's ridiculous. I think what's going to happen is, perhaps, perhaps, uh, maybe, if you're lucky, and it's not really lucky because you're becoming more transhuman. You're becoming less human the more of these shots you put into your body. Maybe they can keep you alive longer. Maybe. But perhaps these boosters will be designed to try to keep you alive a little longer. But I, I find it really freaky what's going on. You're finding people that can literally stick a phone to their head and it's sticking. Been putting magnets 
before you know I buy meat. I don't eat meat right now, but some of my family members eat it, so I'll take a magnet with me, and I've been sticking on the meat to make sure it doesn't stick. And luckily, I haven't came across that, but there was a place that I used to eat. It was uh, Pollo Tropical. They had some pretty good chicken 15 years ago. They had really good food. But I noticed about five years ago, I was eating Pollo Tropical, and after I was eating it, my mouth, it felt all metallic. I'm like, what? I had all this metal feeling in my mouth, and I know that metal feeling. You people experience during chemotherapy or something, but I had that the whole day after eating this this metallic chicken. I know it was metallic, so I stopped eating that shit. Now I've changed my diet around. I eat lots of fifty percent of my fruits and vegetables are raw. I eat lots of salads, lots of beans. Lost about twenty five pounds. I had a really, uh, my heart was really messing with me, so I just changed the things a lot up. Anyways, I want to get back to the point. Flying up in the sky. There are many reasons. I, I haven't flied actually in about 20 years. I haven't took a flight. And what really wanted me to change my mind about flying was 2011, the Fukushima incident. There's a, just a lot more radiation up in the sky. You can go up there and your Geiger counter is going to be much higher than you are on the ground. Now, there, there's some factors of being closer to the sun and higher up in the atmosphere, which can influence that. But that's just that's another reason why you generally don't want to spend a lot of time up there. So you have the Wigner effect going on in the sky, higher radiation. And then you have the effects of blood clots up there. What if both the pilots took? The you know what the jabba dabba do and they both get sick and they can't fly who's gonna fly the fucking plane huh it's gonna be like that movie uh that comedy movie where both the pods get took out by uh some viral infection and then they have to pump up this blow doll to fly a plane you know what i'm saying and they're gonna have to pretty much say on a unicom you're gonna say hey, hey, hey anybody have experience flying yeah and you're gonna hear all these people just freaking out back, like, what now? And they're gonna, like, it's gonna be complete anarchy. They're gonna have to, like, go up to these passengers, whisper in their ear, hey, hey, you know how to fly? You know how to fly? You ever flew a plane before? Huh? You ever flew a plane before? And they're gonna like, what? What? And they're all gonna start talking to each other. It's gonna be messed up. So, what's gonna happen is, I can tell you the future, what's gonna happen. Because now 85% of the pilots got the jabba dabba do. They're going to have to retire early or something. And then, um, oh, we're going to have to have robots fly a plane now. Because there's just not enough unvaccinated pilots to fly the planes. So we're going to have drones, robots. They're going to fly, you know, flash from, from remote control. And then some of those planes, you know, they're going to get hacked. Maybe a terrorist could just take over a plane. It's going to be a really messy future, I must say. I, hopefully I can stick around and see some of this drama. That's why I, another reason I just want to stay healthy, not only to take care of my family, but just to see how all this all unfolds out. Because this is like the weirdest, strangest movie that we are currently living in. It's just unbelievable. And now they want to put the stinger into the little kids. And they're finding, you know, study out of Israel because, you know, they have the Pfizer. And what did they find out? Well, a majority of that population took it and come to find out, well, oh, a lot of the kids were having difficulties with their heart. I think the study came out they're 40 times more likely to die from the Jabba Dabba Do than the, the bogus 19. So there is no reason for kids to get this. They have like a 99.9888% chance of survival. And they're forcing it on the kids. They want to sterilize them. That's why I don't stay quiet about it. Because there's still many kids that we can save, hopefully. But I pretty much gave it up on most of the adults because they have thick skulls. And most of them already went out and go ahead and they got it already so what can you do for them there's not much you can do for them now maybe pray for them maybe maybe there's some things that they can do 
they've already sacrificed their immune system to this new technology of mRNA gene editing therapy with hydrogel. They're basically becoming magnetized. They're, they're going to be controlled to some point. I, I think that these people are going to be easier to manipulate. They're going to be into the matrix, basically. They're going to be able to implant DOS into their mind and maybe even remote control them as well. They're becoming less human. I would never, ever, ever, ever take that jab under any condition. They could put a billion dollars in front of my face. I would turn it down in a heartbeat. I went on for a little bit too long, but I just wanted to give you this update on the futures of air travel. It's going to be one heck of a ride. Buckle up, buttercup.